My name is Andrew Cameron, and I'm an associate professor of surgery here at Johns Hopkins. I'm the surgical director of the liver transplant program. Uh, it's changing in my field of organ transplantation in response to the fact that it's very successful. It's almost a victim of its own success. There's not enough organs to go around, and there's so many people that need transplants, so what are we going to do about that? We're always working on ways to improve organ donation, but more and more people are using living donation. And for liver transplantation, that's a big deal. Putting somebody through a procedure in which they donate half their liver, um, I think that's going to be more and more the future in our country. And that's, uh, it's very exciting, but it's also something we have to take really seriously so that we make sure that donor safety is always at the forefront. The book is short, direct, and to the point, which is really valuable when you're, say, a surgery resident and you want to learn everything you can, but you got 15 minutes. I think the other surgical books that you might read are more reference texts. If you had two hours at nighttime to uh, sit down, you might crack open one of those really big books. This book is different. This book is an expert's opinion on what you need to know about that topic broken down in terms of really the current surgical management, such that if you were about to go into a case or you wanted to learn about a topic, you could open the book and literally 15 minutes later, you've, you've gotten a quick lecture from an expert in the field. I think that's really attractive to young people that are learning surgery and they want to know the bottom line from somebody who's an expert in the field. Well, I think it adds to the field in that it gives you current management. It doesn't give you epidemiology, it doesn't give you um, pathophysiology, that, that's sort of le left to a text for med students. This is a book for surgeons and it touches on the surgery itself. There's often a diagram that illustrates the key point in the surgery or the surgical pitfalls or complications. It's sort of a book by surgeons for surgeons and it's I think it's really effective in its niche in that regard. This edition is great in that it's another layer to update whatever your current problem of interest is. So let's say you were interested in pancreatitis. You could get this edition out, read the chapter. Get last edition out, read that chapter, maybe even one more. And again, in half an hour, it's like you've been part of a discussion or debate between three experts on what they think is the most important part of the field. So the whole thing has a sort of growing, vibrant nature to it. You, you read it and you've got somebody else's important opinion on the topic. So it doesn't really replace the previous edition, it just adds to it. And if you accumulate a couple books, you sort of have a couple experts' opinion on the topic and that's really helpful when you're trying to learn. I don't think it's the only book for a student, but I think if they want to learn what people learn at the pinnacle of their field, what the current opinion is from an expert, I think it's valuable. I think for somebody who's already completed their training or is studying for the oral boards, it's very important. But uh, for a student, I think it's one part of, the, of their educational curriculum. Yeah, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff in the book on uh, minimally invasive surgery and notes, uh, natural orifice surgery that's in there. And I think there's also new perspectives on old problems too. So I think, I think um, every three years or so, each one of these topics deserves to be quickly updated. And it's sort of on the author to tell you, hey, here's what you need to know that's going on in this field currently. And I think the book does that. Oh, it's wonderful. It's editing this book, you know, reading 150 chapters on what's going on in surgery keeps you current, keeps you interested, keeps you abreast of what's going on. And that's the same excitement that you get when you read the book and you say, hey, now I'm up to date. That's, it's really fun to do every couple of years.